Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you guys are enjoying this wonderful snow and this beautiful Western Washington winter. I'm standing out here in the back of the church and uh, we probably got a good foot back here for sure. I mean, I'm up to my ankles in it. But I hope you guys are having fun being safe and enjoying your time off with school. I just wanted to stop in and uh, just talk to you guys a little bit about the snow, a little bit about snow clothes. Is that funny? Uh, you know, what we do out here is in the snow is we come out here with our snow clothes. I got snow pants on, some boots a jacket, a hat, you know, a scarf, I'm keeping it warm. And so I, I make sure I dress for the type of, type of conditions that I'm going to be experiencing. And that's the same way with life is, you know, how we, we need to clothe ourselves, you know, for what, what situations we're going to be, we're going to be experiencing. And I remember as a, as a kid, I would, and we lived in Wyoming, I would, uh, my mom would say, take out the garbage. And our garbage can was, you know, way out back. And uh, I had to go run to the alley and it would be snowing and there'd be snow on the ground. And I'd say, all right, I'm going to do a man drill. You know, because I'm a man. And so I would take my, sh I'd grab the garbage bag with whatever clothes I was on, whether it was shorts, no shoes, nothing. And I would just run as fast as I could to the other, to the, the dumpster, drop the garbage can off and run back. And so that was my definition of man drills. Because that made me look manly, right? Running in the snow. And so, you know, I would sit there and I would get cold. And eventually, you know, if you get cold, if you're cold long enough, things get numb. That's the same way with life. And in Romans 3, 14, it says, rather clothe yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ, and do not think about how to gratify the desires of your sinful nature. And that's saying, you know, we need to clothe ourselves with Jesus. And sometimes in our lives with sin, you know, we begin to grow numb to the things of the world. And it's, I'm going to start taking off some of these clothes. It's going to get pretty cold out here. You know, because if I go about life unprepared and, you know, without the proper stuff, you know, what's going to happen? I'm going to get cold. And so I'm taking off my shoes, my socks. Don't worry, there's nothing bad under here. And so, as you can see, you know, I'm now standing here, basically barefoot in some shorts. And most of the time in life, what happens is, you know, we grow numb to sin. We, we sin so many times. We sin, we do things, like, repeatedly, and we begin to grow numb. And it's eventually, my feet are going to grow numb. Hopefully, I'm not out here too long. But in our lives, you know, we, we, let, we let the sins and things that we do, you know, become just routine. And so in our lives, I want you guys to talk, to think about, you know, every day when you guys leave the house, you know, I'm going to clothe myself with Jesus. I'm going to clothe myself, you know, with God and say, hey, you know, protect me. I need you today. You know, some days I wake up and I'm, I wake up on the wrong side of the bed. I have a bad hair day. I'm not having a good day. And I got to say to God, you know what? You know, it's, it's I need you today. I can't do this without you. I got, I need to clothe myself with Jesus when I step out that door in the morning. And so you guys, that's all I have to say today. I have a good time in the snow. I got to get out of the snow. My feet are getting cold and probably going numb. So have fun. I'll see you guys next week.